Good morning, Populous friends. As some of you may know, the Milan movie night for October 24th has been canceled and is now scheduled for November 14th, 2020 from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Admissions will be two canned goods per person and tickets can be purchased at the concession stand. Strict CDC guidelines will be enforced and church and the church and the restrooms will be closed. If it rains, we will have to reschedule it again. Thank you. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there a trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Get to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take, get to the Lord in heavy laden come bird with the load of care press your savior still our refuge take get to the Lord in prayer do thy friends despise for sake Take it to the Lord.
God in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou will find a solace I'd like to talk this morning for a short period about the men's ministry here at Poplar Spring. Oh yes, 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 the door of the building is closed, but the check is still open during the work of the Lord. We here at Poplar Spring has a men's ministry that meet first and third Saturday virtually using Zoom, and we are teaching men how to restore themselves back to the Lord. As we all know that in the Garden of Eden, Adam fell by disobeying God. So this Bible lesson is about how men can restore themselves back to God by being back in their rightful place. We believe here at Poplar Spring is men are back in their rightful place in the home, in the community, in the church. Then this world will be a better place for us to have a family raise our children, and make this world better for all mankind. So you're welcome to join the men's ministry here at Poplar Spring and study manhood restored, man being restored back to God and his rightful place. Information will be on our website. Thank you. God bless you. And we look forward to seeing all men, married, single, and later, if you have a boyfriend, that he's not doing right, send the Papa Spring, and we'll get him manhood restored. Thank you so much. Amen. Good morning, 100 Women's in White. We want you to continue to pay on your assessment of $300. And if you don't have $300, please pay whatever you are able to pay. And on November the 22nd, we will come to you with the final report. Thank you, ladies. Hello, Poplar Spring family. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I'm reaching out to the men of Poplar Springs today, reminding you of our annual 100 Men in Black program, scheduled for November 22nd, fourth Sunday. While we won't have an actual program this year due to COVID-19, the business of the church must go on. So we're all asking for your assessment. You can join the $300 club, the $500 club, or the $1,000 club, or whatever your heart desire. We know some of us are going through some hardship right now, so anything you give will be appreciated. God knows your heart. You can simply give by going to the Poplar Springs portal, choosing other, put in your amount, and indicate 100 men in black. You can also stop by the church in person and use our security drop box to drop off your assessment. And remember, when you earn, give. And when you learn, teach. Have a blessed day. God bless you, Poplar Spring. It's another Sunday morning. And certainly we just thank God for his goodness and his mercy. But we know that, amen, all things, Amen, come of him. And we are here today to praise his holy name. That's a song, amen, we just got through hearing from Brother Bazin. And Brother Bazin is going to be singing today from us and for us. And, but that was a song that we want to just give a verse or two of. There's a lily in the valley. 
Amen. Shining brighter than a morning star. There's a lily in the valley shining brighter than a morning star. There is a lily in the valley shining brighter than a morning star. There is a lily in the valley, oh, shine brighter than morning star, singing amen, amen, amen. Let me tell you, yeah, there's a lily, Lord God, in the valley, oh, shining brighter than a morning star. There is a lily in the valley, oh, shine brighter than morning star. There is a lily, yeah, in the valley, oh, shining brighter than a morning star. I'm singing, amen, oh, amen, Lord, amen. Oh, let me tell you, King Jesus, yeah, he's in the valley. Oh, shining brighter than a morning star. Oh, King Jesus, yes, he's in the valley. Uh-huh, shining brighter than a morning star. King Jesus, yeah, he's in the valley. Oh, shining brighter than a morning star. I'm singing, Amen. Oh, Amen. Lord, Amen. Hallelujah. There's a lily in the valley shining brighter than a morning star. This morning, we asked them that you be in prayer for the sick and shed in and Amen. And those that are going through. And we're also praying for our election. Whoever get it, we ask that the Lord will, amen, make sure that the blessing of the Lord be upon them. Amen. So we pray that, amen, uh, whoever God have, amen, restored to be in this place over the United States, we pray that it will come to be true and everything will be well. This morning, I want to say that I'm blessed to be here. And, amen. It's a new day, and the Lord is still in his holy temple. I want to say that, amen, this morning, there is a word from the Lord, and it's found in Numbers 13, 30, and 32, and perhaps me, amen, 31, perhaps me go to 32. But I want you to know that the Bible said, then Caleb, amen, he sized the peoples before Moses, got them quiet, and said, we should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. But the men who had gone up with him said, we can't attack those people. They are stronger, amen, than we are. In other words, they're bigger than we are. And I want to say that God lets us know that in spite of what the other men said, he said, amen, we can possess the land. Amen. I want to use for a subject this morning, if you don't mind, yes, we can. Amen. Say that to somebody. Yes, we can. Amen. In spite of, amen, the election and a lot of people saying, we can't make it, and the president that we're looking forward to being our president can't make it. But yes, we can. It'll be all right. We just got to keep trusting and keep believing in the Lord. In the message, amen, is when, amen, the Israelites had been traveling and, amen, over the mountain and going through the valley, and a whole lot of things had been going on. And here they were now, right up the entrance. Uh, of Canaan, just about to go in. They knew that they had to, amen, put up with the Hittites and the Hivites and, amen, 
the Jeruzites, amen, all the other, amen, nation. And they were getting ready, amen, to go into the land of Canaan, amen. But after being engaged near Mount Sinai, amen, for two years, the people of Israel were on verge of uh, entering in Canaan land, amen, the land that God had promised them, amen. But you know, when you've been out there for two years trying to get somewhere, sometimes your faith began to, amen, slip away from you. Your faith began to get small, amen. But thank God, he always got somebody, amen, to keep their faith strong in the Lord. God told them to, amen, send 12 spies, amen, to assess the land and the people that live in there. In other words, before we go over, we need to find out what we got to deal with. So he sent 12 spies over to assess the land. When the spies saw the strength of the Canaanite and the size of their city, 10 of them came back with a negative report. They said, now, we, we just can't do it. And no way we can do it because the men are tall. They're giants in the land. In fact, they even went on so far to say, we fought, found ourselves as grasshoppers before those men. Amen. In other words, they are giants and we are grasshoppers. But let me tell you something. If you got God on your side, Amen. You don't have to worry about that as long as the Lord is holding your hand. Well, let me say this here. Now, I, I was telling my wife. They said, we can't do it. Amen. That was 10 of them. They said, we can't do it. But Joshua and Caleb said, yes, we can. Look at somebody say, yes, we can. Amen. Yes, we can. I don't care how strong the men are. I don't care how big they are, yes, we can. Amen. What made the difference, Pastor Punda? Well, when the ten compared the giants, amen, with themselves, and the giants, amen, were large, but, amen, the two, which was Joshua and Caleb, compared the giant with God. Can I get a witness? Amen. And the giant were cut down the side. Let me, let me explain. See, when you look at something in your own eye, you can't see nothing but small. You can't see where you can do it. But when you look at it through the eyes of the Lord, <laughs> oh yeah, when you look at it through the eyes of the Lord, amen, that's what Joshua and Caleb, amen, these, these other ten, they looked at it through their own eye, but they looked at it through God's eye. And when they looked at it through God's eye, even though they were big and tall and giant, they were cut down the side. Well, let, let me give you an example. Uh, you remember David when he had to fight, amen, Goliath. That Goliath was a tall and he was a giant. David was a little boy. But God gave him the will and the spirit and the power to move forward, amen. And he was able to cut, amen, Goliath down the side. And when he got him down on the ground, he was able to cut his head off. He was able to do what he needed to do. Amen. So a lot of times, God will fix it where you can get your enemy down to side. Amen. Well, the Lord is with us. That's what, amen, Goliath, that's what, um, amen, Joshua and Caleb said. The Lord is with us. Amen. Do not be afraid of them. Amen. The Lord is with us. Amen. Unbelief never let us get beyond difficulty. When you have unbelief, Sister Jackson, amen, it keep you, amen, thinking you can't do it. Amen. I remember when you first went, amen, back to college. Amen. And I'm pretty sure, amen, you had got up at age and two sons and married. Here you going back to school. But look at you. You got that degree because God was on your side. Amen. And if God said you can do it, but Basin, you can do it. Yes, sir, you can do it. Look at somebody say, you can do it. Yes, we can. Amen. Amen. The impregnant, amen, city and the impossible giant 
Amen. It, 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 it was preoccupied itself with them. Amen. Over them putting, amen, them against, amen, pitting them against human resource. Amen. The giants, amen, in their eyes, amen, made them feel like we can't make it. It was pitting them against, amen, human resource. But faith, on the other hand, through it, though it never, amen, minimized the danger and difficulty of any situation, amen, lets us know no matter how big a situation is, no matter how strong a situation is, God will let you move through it. And I want you to know, amen, Joshua and Caleb said, we can go over. We can possess the land. I know we can. Why, Pastor? Because the Lord is with us. Papa Spring, amen, I just believe God is getting ready to move this virus. And there are a lot of things that we need to do at Papa Spring. Amen. I want you to know when we come back in, it's going to be a different land. It's going to be a different city. It's going to be a different church, a different choir, a different deacon ministry. Amen. Deacon ushers. Amen. Going to be different because we can, amen, move over and cross the land. Look away from, amen, them to God when you're going through your trial. Look away from your enemy. Look away from your burden. Look away from your pain. Count on his invisible presence and his power. Amen. You got to look away and see what God got for you. What are uh, your giants? Think about it. Well, somebody said a habit you can't break. That could be a giant. Amen. A temptation you just cannot resist. That could be a giant. A difficult marriage that you're fighting or arguing all the time, that could be a giant. A drug abuse son or daughter, that could be a giant. But I want to let you know, trust God. Amen. You got to do like Joshua and Caleb. Trust God. If you trust God, no matter how bad the situation is, no matter, amen, who they are, you can make it. And if we compare ourselves with our difficulty, amen, we will always be overwhelmed with problems. But we got to look away to the Lord. For he is able to keep us from falling. Lord have mercy. Faith look away from greatness. Amen. It look away from, amen, the greatness of undertaking. And the greatness of an evil present. All powerful God is standing by. My brothers and sisters, as I look to a close this morning. Amen. I just want you to know no matter what your giants is, God is standing by your side. No matter how big your giants is, God is standing by your side. No matter, amen, how much strength your, God, your giant has, God is standing by your side. And oh, I want you to know you got to trust God. You got to hold on to him. You got to believe in him. You got to, amen, keep looking to the hill from which come your help. Your help coming from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. I feel like preaching in here, but I'm going to hold my mute. Amen. But God is able to do all things but fail. Just keep holding on. Keep looking to the hill. Keep looking to the hill from which come your help. Papa Spring, we're going to make it. Yes, we are. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. All we got to do is just keep trusting in him. Just keep holding on to him. Keep on looking to him. For he's able to do all things but fail. I thank God this morning. I feel good. I believe that the Lord is with us. Amen. This is one of the things that Joshua and Caleb wanted them to know. Now, I need you to know, amen, Caleb was the oldest man in the bunch. But he still had faith. To believe God could move mountain. To believe God could, amen, help them overcome the situation and overcome the strength of the giant. So, Poplar Spring, when you come up against your giant, you got to learn to trust God. You got to learn to believe in him. You got to learn to lift up your heads or your gates and be lifted up the everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord 
amen, mighty. He is the king of glory. Lift up your heads, or your gates, and be lifted up the everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord holy, the Lord mighty. He is the king of glory. So, Papa Spring, thank you this morning. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your glory. Thank you for your mercy. And we pray, Lord, if you just continue to let us know, amen, faith, look away, amen, from greatness of the undertaking uh, to the greatness of the ever-present God, the God Almighty. Let us pray, Father. We thank you this morning for the spirit of the Lord. We thank you for the power of God. And as we pray this morning, let us continue to pray for one another, the sick, the shed in, the bereavement, those that are hurting, those without job, those that don't have food. God, we pray if you bless them right now. Bless our church. Bless those that are going to come in and have prayer this morning. Have mercy upon all. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, I would if every heart would say amen, amen, and amen. God bless you this morning. I think I felt like preaching, Brother John. God bless you. Hadn't preached, amen, really just preached, amen, and since March, and I tell you, it built up in me. Amen. So I'm ready to say something. God bless you. Don't forget, we still have our prayer line going. Amen. one 309 Every Wednesday night. Amen. Call in about 645. Amen. If you have a scripture you'd like to give, give it. Amen. We start around about 7 o'clock, sometime a little earlier. Amen. And I want you to know that on the prayer list today, we are praying for Papa Spring family, leadership of our country, amen, and entire nation, a minister due, amen, still holding on, Brother Joe and Sister Diane Morris and family, praying for Sister Mother Ruby Home, Aunt Rosalie, my wife, aunt, we're praying for her, Bobby and Doris Tarbert, we're praying for them, Brother Fred Lowry, we're praying for them, we're praying Amen for Brother Dotson. Amen. Sister Tiller's nephew. We're praying for Sister Ida Martin. Sister Martin, we love you, and we're praying for you daily. We're praying, amen, for Desert, Sister Desert Ware. Well, amen. And we're praying for Cynthia Tyler. That's Sister Jackson's sister. Pray that God would have mercy upon her and get her back, back home out of the hospital. We're praying for Mother Tony. Amen. That's in the hospital. And we pray that everything be well with our soul. We're praying for the sick and shed in everywhere. So those of you, don't forget, we need you to be in prayer for all our people. Praying for Brother John Jackson, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, amen, November the 11th, amen, <clears throat> we want to salute all our veterans. Amen, all our veterans, we want to salute you, amen, November the 11th, and let you know, Amen. We love you and we thank God for you. That's Veteran Day. Amen. So if we were back in the church, I have the missionary to fix you a lunch. But since we're not, I just want to tell you, God bless you. And we thank you for a job well done. Amen. I want to close out by telling you there's five ways that you can give at Poplar Spring. Keep asking the question, what can we do, Pastor? Amen. To get funds to, do, to you to help out those that are going through and help the church. Well, you can send it through USP, amen, S mail. Or you can log in the website, www.psbcellenwood.org. Click on Give. Or you can download Giveify app on your mobile phone. Add to your bill of pay and it will come through the mail. Or insert it in the slot for secured lockbox. It's at the church, and you can drop it in there, and certainly, amen, we can get it out. I want to let you know that we're looking forward to you giving it, amen, and we pray that God will just continue to bless you as you do so. I want to thank a young man that's been helping us the last few months, the name Brother Curry. I want to let him know that we appreciate everything that he do. Certainly, we're blessing, blessed to have him on our side, 
Amen. He really, we don't pay him. We tip him, but we let him know that we love him. And we pray that all you, amen, be in prayer for Brother Curry. Let me tell you, I'm getting ready to get out of here, but I want you to know something. We're still standing. There is a lily in the valley, shining brighter than a morning star. There is a lily in the valley, oh, shining brighter than a morning star, singing it me. Hey.